Hello, I'm Cricket, as the channel insinuates, and I have been looking for something to jumpstart the channel for a hot minute, and I think I found it. I think I've come across the perfect thing, and this is just that. Why, why immigrants should should love Columbus Day? Let's let's get into it from Prager U. As Columbus Day dies a slow woke death, it might be a good idea to consider how this national holiday came about in the first place. The answer might surprise you. Ready for it? The purpose of Columbus Day was to encourage Americans slow to be more death. accepting of immigrants, specifically Italian. What? No, it was made to celebrate a guy who brutalized a bunch of Native Americans. What? <laughs> this doesn't even make sense. <laughs> Alien immigrants. The Italian explorer, once universally regarded as a great hero, was the sim- He's not a great hero. He was literally known, even by his day's standards, as brutal. Oh my god. Of the holiday, I hate Prager you. Not the focus of it. He this literally doesn't even make sense. He is the focus of the holiday. What, what, why else would you name the holiday after him? That doesn't make sense. Here's the historical context. Following a mass migration from southern Italy beginning in the 1880s, the status of Italian Americans was at an all-time low. How low was clearly illustrated by one of the single worst episodes of racial violence in American history. The mass murder and lynching of 11 Italian Americans in New Orleans in 1891. One of the single worst episodes of racial violence in American history. Let's repeat that again. One of the worst episodes of racial violence in American history. The mass murder and lynching of 11 Italian Americans in New Orleans. 11. Let's just let that sink in a little bit. Let, let's let that sink in a little bit. 11. Whereas we had hundreds of thousands of murdered African American people. I, this doesn't even make sense. One of the single worst episodes of racial violence in American history. At 11. I can't even with this. Yes, what happened was bad. I'm not saying that, but when you have something as big as slavery, that Prager U has said in the past that slaves actually liked. You cannot say that one of the single worst episodes of racial violence in American history is the mass murder of, and lynching of 11 Italian Americans in New Orleans in 1891. We are barely 50 seconds into this video, and I am already having to explain how slavery was worse than 11 Italian Americans dying. Oh my gosh, this has me literally rolling on the ground, screaming and crying and kicking my feet in the air. <sighs> Bro, I'm Italian and I'm not even mad about this. Bro, calm down. You're fine. <laughs> oh my god. 
hatred against the Italian newcomers had been brewing for years. And that, it was openly that, may, that might be, yeah. But what Columbus did is not excusable in any sense of the word. You cannot excuse what Columbus did in any sense. His name should not be celebrated. Does, does that make any sense to these people? Encouraged by leading newspapers of the day. For example, in 1882, the New York Times ran an editorial under the headline, Our Future Citizens, in which the Times stated, There has never been, since New York was founded, so low and ignorant a class among the immigrants as the Southern Italians. What about black people, brown people, Native American people? Literally every person of color at that time? You can't just say, oh, the Washington Post said at this point. You can't say that. You have to come with hard studies at this But I know people like this would say that it, those are social sciences and those are bad and gross. <laughs> so they don't, they don't matter, of course. In 1887, the same New York Times wrote approvingly of the lynching in Mississippi of a man they referred to as Dago Joe. Dago being an ethnic slur for Italians. Anti Which shouldn't have happened. I agree, shouldn't have happened, but you can't sit and say that, <sighs> you can't sit and say that discrimination against Italian Americans is worse and more prevalent than discrimination against people of color. You can't say that you want Columbus Day to stay in our history books because he's Italian-American. You can't say that. He wasn't even American. He died before America became a thing. Let me double check myself on that, but I'm pretty sure. When did Columbus die? Siri's taking a minute. Hold on. 1509. You're trying to tell me that because Columbus, the person who quote unquote found America, which he didn't, by the way, who brutalized Native Americans, which you try to disclaim by saying, oh, other Native Americans brutalized Native Americans, which is nothing compared to what he did. You're trying to tell me that he should stay in the history books and he should have a, na a day named after him because he's Italian? Because he's Italian American? That doesn't even make sense. He, there was no America. There was no America. Why are you relating it back to a guy who got killed or lynched because he was Italian America? This has nothing to do with it. Anti-immigrant sentiment was especially intense in New Orleans, where Italians were settling in large numbers. Yeah. I wonder what the biggest amount of immigrants are. I wonder what the big biggest ethnic group is of immigrants. And especially back then, immigrants aren't seen as white. Italian Americans, Irish Americans, German Americans aren't seen as white back then. They were actively trying to hide their ethnicity, quote unquote, to try and 
distance themselves from their ethnicity to try and claim that they were white. So yeah, you're not making a good point. Local papers accuse them of working for below market wages engaging in all manner of crimes and be I wonder why they would work for below market wages it couldn't be because there weren't good unions yet something that the right despises being more loyal to the pope than the president what 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 are you saying with that what are you trying to say with that? I, I don't even understand. And what was that little thing about the crime? Are you just trying to compare them to black Americans here? Because if you're trying to do that, that literally no, you can't do that. <laughs> What the fuck? You can't do that! Mm. These seething resentments broke to the surface when the city's police chief, David Hennessy, was assassinated in the fall of 1890. As the chief laid- Damn, a cab, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry. Dying in the street, a witness claims to have heard him say that Dagos had shot him. Uh. 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 <laughs> a cab, bro. In a response, authorities rounded up hundreds of Italians, eventually charging nine of them with complicity in Hennessy's murder. I don't get, I don't get what they're trying to say here. Like, I get what they're trying to say here, but I don't get why they're trying to say it. Like, they're trying to point out that Italian Americans were persecuted. But again, this was far after Columbus died. He was dead and gone after this happened. This was in, what, 1809? He died in 1509. This happened way after. Why not pick one of these Italian Americans that were lynched? that were rounded up and charged with complicity, compl bleh, complacency. Name the holiday after them. Don't give the holiday to someone who was well known to have done horrendous things to people of color and Native Americans. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Okay? Okay? Okay, thanks. When their trial resulted in six not guilty verdicts and three mistrials, the public was outraged. Further inflamed by the local press, some decided to take justice into their own hands. According to journalist Aaron Blakemore, here's what happened. Thousands of angry residents gathered near the jail. Impassioned speakers whipped the mob into a frenzy, painting Italian immigrants as criminals who needed to be driven out of the city. They're trying to, I think, uh, paint a... They're trying to paint a correlation between um, what the left is um, pointing out today with Black Americans and uh, people of color um, in America with and Italian Americans in what the, what was this 1809 um and trying to point out like the similarities I guess but the thing is yes these are somewhat comparable but they are not comparable as much anymore and we need to underline the differences that is what Prager U is refusing to admit. Okay? Okay. Let's move on. 
A group of vigilantes stormed the prison, grabbing not just the men who had been acquitted or given a mistrial, but several who had not been tried or even accused in the crimes. Shots- Which is not okay! Which is something that has happened to a lot of people who, I'll say it again, were not considered white at the time. They were not considered white at the time. It's rang out. When the shooting stopped, 11 bodies were riddled with bullets and torn apart by the crowd. Again, not okay. But if this was back in this time, if we were back in what, whatever time this was, I keep saying 1809, but I may be wrong. If we were back when this happened, Prager you would be one of those people outside. Okay? Allegedly, for legal reasons. <laughs> but Prager U and their affiliates would be defending this if we were back in their time, in this time. They'd be like, well, don't do the crime, don't pay the time, essentially. So, I don't know what they're trying to get at. And, God, we still have half the video, and I'm, oh my God, I don't know how much more of this I can take. Oh my God. Outside the jail, the mob cheered as the mutilated bodies were displayed. Oh Some my God, can we not show, can we not do this? Your videos are made for middle schoolers and younger. Your, your videos are made for educational purposes. Can we please not show this? God, were hung. Others were plundered for souvenirs. <sighs> the next day, the New York Times celebrated the crime with a headline that... You know what affiliation the New York Times has? Do you know what affiliation the New York Times has? Center-right. The New York Times is center-right. The New York Times is on your side, buddy. That read, Chief Hennessy avenged. Eleven of his Italian assassins lynched by a mob. These descendants of bandits and assassins are to us a pest without mitigations. Again, you're quoting something that's on your side, buddy. The Times editors wrote, In protest, the Italian government broke off diplomatic relations with the United States. Good. Good for them. Good for them. I don't know what you want me to say. Am I supposed to be defending? Am I supposed to be defending the other side? <laughs> I don't know what you're trying to get me to do. Is this supposed to spark outrage? Oh, how dare they? I don't know, man. Tensions receded only after the U.S. government paid an indemnity to the Italians. Dis Which they still haven't done for black people. which they still haven't done for African Americans, which they still haven't done for the Native Americans. Despite the New York Times' incendiary rhetoric, much of the country was outraged by the massacre. In his 18- Good. As they should be with Native American, ma with the Native American tale of, tear bleh, tale of tears, as they should be with slavery, as they should be with other just as bad crimes that the U.S. has committed. In the State of the Union Address, Republican President Benjamin Harrison pledged to protect foreign nationals from mob violence. That pledged to protect foreign nationals. Why do they have to use this fancy language? What are they saying? Bro, this is stupid. And in July 1892, Harrison issued a proclamation celebrating the 400th anniversary of Christopher Columbus's discovery of the New World. He didn't discover it! It was a timely pretext to a greater purpose, to raise the status of a badly shaken Italian-American community. Her he died in 1509! He died in 1509. They keep leaving out that fact. He died in 
2009. He wasn't even alive then. Dude. Harrison's proclamation did more. Italian Americans now had a way to include themselves in the American story. No! No, that's not what the day is about. It's not a bit a day about Italian American immigrants. It's a day to celebrate a dipshit who came to the Americas, rampaged the Native Americans, and destroyed everything here. Gave them diseases that killed so many. <sighs> Put them into slavery, even when many of the slaves were trying very hard to be nice to him, to give him hospitality, to, as we know it today, be very, very kind. My mic just fell over. I apologize. Very, very kind to a very bad person. <sighs> Excuse me for that little tangent that I got very worked up on. And not surprisingly, New York City figured prominently in that narrative. In the late 19th century, one could say that Italian immigrants essentially built the city's infrastructure. According to the Library of Congress, they went to work on the growing city's municipal works projects, digging canals, laying gas lines, built- Yes. Yeah. I believe that is all correct. Um, just as- Many other immigrants had a big, 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 big role to play in the um, in the foundation works of the U.S.'s building, essentially. Um, I will be one of the first to acknowledge that. Um, for instance. I'm Irish, I know this very well. Um, the Irish built railroad tracks. Um, we're not paid for it, we're paid very poorly for it, actually. Um, but they did that. They did that very well, actually. Building bridges and tunneling out the New York subway system. Mm -hmm. We're not paid very well for it. Nearly 90% of the laborers in New York's Department of Public Works were Italian immigrants. We're not very paid very well for it. Of course, Italian Americans have made countless and enormous contributions to every area of American life over the nation's 250 yep. year history. At least one signer of the Declaration of Independence was Italian American. Many cool. I don't care. Many cabinet members and Supreme Court justices have been. Cool. They're all monsters of Italian descent. Not to mention legendary athletes like Joe DiMaggio, Nobel Prize winning scientists like Enrico Fermi, cool. and many prominent artists, actors, and actresses, including the most beloved singer in American history, Frank Sinatra. In You're wrong. <laughs> President Frank You're wrong. That's not the most beloved. That's not the most beloved. Sam Cooke, baby. Franklin Roosevelt proclaimed Columbus Day an official U.S. holiday. But if a new mob has its way, it may not be one for long. I don't care. We should not have Columbus Day celebrating a person who did horrible things to Native Americans. It's the least we could do. It's the least we could do. It is lower than the bare minimum. I'm Alana Mastrangelo, reporter. Don't care. For Breitbart News. Prager University. Still don't care. Thank you Bye. for watching. Uh-uh. No. So that was that was what we had today. That was a trip. And there's there's more that I could go over. Um I am done. I'm gonna go clean my room like I need to do. I I never want to see that again. God damn, that was horrible. Bye.